Good morning, we're gonna get ready for work. I know I look rough, but that, that'll that make it all that much more fun, right? Because we'll see how awesome I look at the end. I'm going to begin by getting some mascara residue off my lower lash line. And I'm using the Bioderma. Yes, I washed my face last night and did my skincare, but I didn't try to get all the mascara off because I think all that cleaning is what gives me my issues. I'm going to begin with my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to do a similar look to the tutorial or get ready with me y'all saw on Tuesday, except for instead of the blues, I'm going to, or teals, I'm going to use purple. So that was this pencil from Sigma. The eyesh, it, it, oh no, it, this is it, what I was using. It was the Clean Up Highlight Brow Crayon. All right, and I'm going to pull out the Urban Decay Beached Palette again. And I'm going to use the E35 again and put sand all over my lid. Pack it a little heavier at the brow area. One of you girls suggested that I watch Dead to Me and I did. I binged through the whole thing, all done had Christina Applegate in it. The Daybreak, just like I did last time, and put that in the crease. So I got a new espresso machine. It's one of those fan fancy ones. Or it's a fancy brand. It's, it's like the second one up in the price range. Let's see, what is it called? Oh well, I can't tell you what the name of it is. I'll put it here when I, uh, I'll put a picture of it there when I edit. All right, then I'm, go I'm going to keep the lid a little brighter this time than I did with the blue. Okay, I'm gonna take Blaze and put that on my lid. Then I'm gonna take Wedge on a pencil brush. All my pencil brushes are dirty. And Wedge is a brown, a chocolatey brown. I'm just going to put that in the outside just to deepen up that outside corner like that. Outside, outer V, truly the outer V. All right, I'm going to get a palette. I'm going to use my Busy Art Bridal Palette. These truly are delicate and don't travel well. I'm going to take the purple in this. See that? that one. So I went to Ulta yesterday and I'm going to use something that I got yesterday in this look. So I'll get to share that with you. Let's take, soften that outer edge. What was it I, okay, I think I need a little more, I guess you could call this one a soft cut crease because I'm defining that crease a little more. Like that. I'm gonna take a darker purple from the same palette. I'll show it to you in a minute. There. Okay. This time I'm gonna try to remember to do all the steps to that eyebrow look. Only thing is now I can't find my eyebrow. My eye, the eyelash look. I can't seem to find my eyelash. Oh, found it. All right, so we're 
we're doing great today. I think this eyelash curler, I mean, comb that I have here, I think I bought this at Merle Norman years ago. They had a real chunky mascara that they recommended that you use a comb with. Either that or that was their add-on technique. The little kitty poos are walking to school. Actually, I think it's the mommies uh, coming back from their morning walk. There. Now I combed them out. Now I'm going to curl them. Try to get down close to the base of my lashes without pinching my eyes. Okay, now I'm going to take the Lancome Seals Booster and give it a little, a little coat. Boy, my hair looks awful, doesn't it? Well, I'll show you. I'll look like a brand new person when this is all said and done. Okay, now let's comb through them again. It was cooler this morning when I got up and took the dog out. Okay, let's put some on the bottom. All right, let's do the mascara. I'm gonna use the Christian Louboutin again. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to using lashes again. I'm just experimenting with this layering technique right now. Okay, let's come through them again. Yeah, when I get tired of this layering technique, we'll go back to lashes again. I bought a new lash glue that I wanted to experiment with, but we're not going to do that today because I got I to gotta get ready and go. I don't need to add any level, any new levels of uncertainty today. There we go. Let's do brows. All right, here's my my Sigma brow brush, E75. And I'm going to use the lightest color in this brow powder in the front. You know, the old, the usual routine. Maybe my brow pencil will show up in the meantime. Okay, there we go. Now let's put some brow glue in there. I'm going to use the tart. It, it's got the stiffest hold, I think. And then I'm going to take the brush from the pencil that I just used. and comb them into place. And then now I see some holes, so I'm gonna go back and get those. There we go. Now let's put on the, I liked the way my foundation looked yesterday with this Chanel CC cream underneath. So let's do that again. Okay, now let's do the foundation, the Westman Atelier. 
Yes, I am a little rushed this morning. Okay. Then I'm going to get my 3D HD Kabuki brush. And I love how it you can make it outline whatever you're working around. And in this case, the brows. So I'm gonna have a busy Saturday. I have two spots to go to tomorrow. I mean, Saturday. Okay, now I'm gonna try to do something with this hair. I, I think I got it, I accidentally got it damp in the shower last night. I did have on my shower cap, but I may not have had it all tucked up in there good enough. So, let's see if we can do something with this hair. Uh, while you were gone, what did I do? Finish putting on my foundation. Uh, touched up these eyelashes a little more. I'm not sure that I'm digging this look as much. I have a Makeup Forever loose pigment here. Let's see what it's called. It's a starlight pigment and I will have I'll have to put the exact name of it right there when I I'm gonna put that on my yeah I think I'm liking that a little more. There we go. Alright when the curling iron heats up see what we have here. We have a lot of unusual wrinkles in the front. Okay. Let's see. While we're waiting for the curling iron to heat up, let's work with our, on our, with our sculpt palette and do some contour and bronzing. I'm using the throw shade. Since I'm in a hurry, I'm just going to use the bronzing color as my contour too. One and done. I'm really in a hurry. I spent a lot of time fixing a video to go live this afternoon. And ran into my get ready time. Okay, let's get a smaller brush. I guess. I'll take the point of this. There we go. Okay, my curling iron's heated up now. We'll come back to this in a minute. It looks better already now that I got some bronzer on. All right, let's do some hair. I don't know what, what to make of this. We're, pro we're probably just not gonna look good today. I'm gonna I looked at uh, curling wands at Ulta yesterday because I bet most of you are not going to want a curling wand where you have to buy six wands because you're not going to use six, right? So I was looking for a curling wand that was this size, which is probably maybe two inches. Or an inch and a half. I don't, uh, maybe it's an inch and a half. I don't know. But anyway, I was looking for a bigger curling wand 
where it was only one wand. Anyway, I couldn't find anything. And I didn't want one of those where it, it goes from fat to skinny. I, I don't want it to go skinny. I want it to be the same all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna cut off the video now. Uh, I'm gonna cut this off because this is boring. Y'all have all seen this before. So I'll save the battery for something that you're interested in. Okay, so I got my, I got my crazy hair fixed somewhat. I know, I can never just leave it alone. Okay, now let's look at the face and see what else. We need definitely need some cheap color. Let's see what we got here. This is the one I want, it's the Nymphaea. I'm gonna use the F15 brush to put this on and I'm gonna do it just like I did in that last tutorial I'm going to. I'll link that tutorial here. I'm going to put that right there on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, and right here. The kids. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna use the Sculpt palette and I'm gonna pull this. No, nope, I'm gonna do something different. I'm going to pull out the highlight palette and I'm going to use last time I think I well I don't know this time I'm going to use ambrosia and I'll put that on my nose and my upper lip. Like that. It's the F03. And here's the color I was using from this highlight palette, the Ambrosia. Okay. Let's make sure these eyebrows are gonna stay up. Make sure the eyelashes are gonna stay up. This is the new powder I got. It's the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Translucent Setting Powder and I got the color Caramel. And it does not come with Oh, farfig nougan. All right, what am I gonna use? A little, there we go. I wanna use this brush. It is the Sigma Dual Fiber F55. There was a lot sifted to the top already. That's why I'm. Um, And it smells like peaches or watermelon. I think I'm just going to put this over the colored areas. Let me give let me give that a look. I don't know what it was why I thought I had to have. I guess because Marsha has it. My lashes are clumpy today. I guess that's what I get for. 
I didn't come, when you do this routine, don't forget to come the bottom ones. Okay. So this doesn't have as much sparkle in it or color as you think it does. So just go on with it. I'm going to bring it down here too. All right, we'll experiment more with that on another day when I'm not running late. But it it doesn't, the color doesn't translate as much as you think it would. I, and Marcia said that. I'm gonna go back with my contour brush. This is the F23. You can get that. I forgot to get that. I was in a hurry this morning. All right. Now we need a lip. What are we going to do for a lip? This morning I'm going to do another Too Faced product. First, I'm going to use the Rimmel Cappuccino. And then I'm going to feather that in. Then I'm going to make sure that my inner lip is lighter. This is Babe Town by MAC. And then I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs gloss. I'll put it right here when I edit. And put that there. There we go. All right, so that's my look for today. What the heck? My hair's... I'm gonna start in the middle of these bangs and, and give it the... <laughs> it won't stay. There we go. I'm starting in the middle. I don't know what I got in them yesterday that's keeping them from, I know what it probably could be. I probably got setting spray in it yesterday. Speaking of which, I should do that again today. That made my makeup really last pretty all day. This is Zero Gravity by Sebastian, I think. It is. Let's get some over here. I don't know why I'm flat right here. Oh, shit. All right, let's do that. Let's do the setting spray. And this is the Rose Setting Spray from MAC. When you uh, charge this thing, it works great. It's high speed right there.
All right, I'm gonna go get my clothes on and I'll come back and share my outfit of the day. Oh, curling iron unplugged. All right, this is the, the uh, this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing a pair of American Eagle jeans. I've linked these before. They're uh, jeggings. They're really stretchy. Uh, this is a rails shirt and it has a metallic thread that runs through it so it's a little itchy. I have on my golden goose I have on my golden goose sneakers. I, uh, I enjoy them. I have them on with a pair of Bomba socks. And the reason it, I think you're supposed to wear these without socks, these tennis shoes, but there's a seam in the tongue. I have, I don't know what it is. If there's anything that could possibly rub, it rubs on my feet. So anyway, there you go. And this is my Mother's Day present. Here, I'll show it to you. It is a Lululemon exercise top. It's got a cool back. Anyway, I'm looking for a t-shirt or sweater that has a open a hole in the back an open back so I can wear this with it but for now I think it goes it picks up the color of the metallic thread and this is kind of a high low shirt and because it has that has a split you can do that do y'all want to see my new uh, espresso machine Oh, here's my uh, fragrance. I'll probably wear the Cypress and the Anasance and the Neroli today. All right, let's go see my uh, espresso machine. There it is right there. Let's see if we can make, make it a to-go espresso. It still has water in it. It knows how much water to use. All right. All right. I'm gonna do a decaf. Here's its little scoop, and it has a tamper on the other end. So I filled it all the way up. Okay, I'm going to cut it on. The on button is over, here, is over here. And the lights start flashing up here on top when it's setting itself. And then when it stops flashing, you can pick whether you want one or two shots. I'm putting some stevia in there. Okay, it stopped flashing. And I'm gonna pick two, two shots. Here's the stevia I use. 
Pat, I would not pick this. This is just what Pat bought. A dupe, that much butter. I use this half and half because it doesn't have that inflammation inducing. I'm going to go ahead and run two more through those same grounds. Then you, you have to turn on the steamer. Okay, I'm getting ready to go get in the car. I'll meet y'all out there. Ta-ta. All right, we're going to work now. I uh, have to stop at the Starbucks and pick up my friend. Oh, the cause of organ donation. Her uh, venti. Pick up her venti chai. All right, let's go. All right. I have my seatbelt done. Shut up. I did a get ready with me video on this look. I guess so I won't go over the details again. So I watched all of Dead to Me. with Christina Applegate. That was pretty good. That was worth watching. I, th it, I think, uh, I don't know, Pat probably would have liked it, but he was out of town, so. And I, and I wanted to watch something, so watch that. These are my fingernails today. They are uh, the color is surfer neon. So what time is it? Eight twelve. This is a crap time to leave the house because. The traffic's really backed up. So I got my friend, uh, she's got really curly hair, and I ordered both of us some Nutella ties. And I ordered two kinds. I ordered the uh, AB for me, and they're too little. So I'm gonna give them to her because she's got a little little girl. And the uh, these, and I think these are too big, but she's got big curly hair and it's blonde, so I think that'll be pretty in her blonde hair. Anyway, so I'm gonna give those to her today. Oh, I forgot to put perfume on. Dang it dang dang. So I guess that means we're wearing Calvin Klein today. Calvin Klein Beauty the one that comes in that stays in my car all right this traffic is for the thank goodness school will be out soon and I won't have this traffic to deal with every day so I ordered some new shoes. 
these are going back because they're too big. They're by Leith. L-E-I-T-H. I'm not going to pull them out because I don't want to uh, disturb the packing. I got them all packed up neatly. I ordered this. These are the nines because I don't know why. Everybody said that they were they ran small. So they're too big for me. So I have to. I ordered an eight and a half. And those will be here. I don't know. Soon, I hope. So, do y'all like my new bra top? I don't know. It's cool, isn't it? Super cool. I want to try my new uh, duo lash adhesive. It's called a Quick Setup or something. Quick Dry. I don't know. Anyway, next makeup tutorial that we do, or next makeup room video we do, we'll pull that out and see how it see how it works, right? This traffic is just for the birds. So, can you see any difference in my? I guess it. I'm more luminous, right? Since I used that Do You powder just gives you a glow all over glow all over right I ran an orange light so Ruth said she got some uh, some sunglasses for Mother's Day from the dog where are my sunglasses? There they are. I see them. No, no calls for alarm. They're right here. She got two pairs of sunglasses. Taco didn't get anything for me, but he was nice to me. <laughs> and with uh, my uh, parent, parent, child relationships that's the saying a lot I got a I got a text text from the oldest child that says happy mother's day period and the other one chewed, like I said before chewed my ass out and no I'm not gonna tell you what I did It'd be hard to explain. And it would sound like I was being defensive. And I'm not going to defend myself. So these are my sunglasses. They're knock, I think, knock around. They're an inexpensive brand. I think they're polarized. I think they're kind of a surfery brand. They expect you to be around the water, obviously, since they're polarized. So, what did y'all think of the uh, American Idol results? I, I really did think that Lacey going home was appropriate. She's got a cool sounding voice, but she doesn't have much range. She, she seems to strain some. And Alejandro doesn't seem to have much range either. Although he's very creative and he's very unique and talented uh, musician, uh, songwriter. I just, I'm just not certain that he can sell the records, you know, I don't, I don't. I don't think he's uh, an American Idol. Somebody that's just going to hit the top of the charts, you know what I'm saying? Like Carrie Underwood or Kelly Clarkson or the little the little pudgy girl. She, she I uh, 
I'm beginning to believe that she's not really that. T she she's okay. She just needs some more training because those upper notes sound like screaming. You know what I'm saying? And then there's Lane, and he's beautiful. No. Gorgeous kid, and I think he's got. All, everything it takes to be an American Idol. He's got the looks. He's got the sound. He's got the personality. I, I think. I think he can. I think he could do it. I think he could make some number one hits. His rendition of "Hey Jude" gave me chills. I don't know. It might have just been him flashing those white teeth. I don't know. He's he's almost Donny Osmond-ish, right? Anyway. Alejandro is, is very talented, but I'm not certain that he is an American Idol. And I was glad to see Wade go because... He strains on, he, he, he has a very short range of notes that he can hit. I know a, a big guy won uh, American Idol before, but I think he had more of a range. So I did not watch any YouTube this morning because I was filming my Get Ready With Me. And that's all I have to say. I guess I'll talk to you in a little bit if I come up with something to talk to you about. Ta -ta. All right, I'm through watching, for now, I'm through watching The Aggravating Person on YouTube. And picking up somebody else's Starbucks order is also, also stupid. I'm aggravated with that too. Seems that I was supposed to text her when I was eight minutes away. How the F am I supposed to know when I'm eight minutes away? How am I supposed to know what the... T I'm not doing map it on the way to work. Oh, just aggravated. So in the video I was watching, it was uh, going through somebody's... I wonder if that cuts the corner. I'm going this way too. It's going through somebody's garbage. They're throwing away things that they have not finished using. They're just throwing them away because... They got messy or they hit pan and their brush doesn't go fit in the box properly anymore. Wow. You know you know when you have hit the big time when you can throw away stuff when it doesn't look when it's not doesn't look new, right? My sister and I used to Yeah, I have a sister. We don't we don't I don't talk about her much. We used to kid that when our car got dirty, it meant we needed a new one. This person is almost to that level in their life. Must be nice, right? You throw away stuff because it's not new anymore. So I had to cut her off. She was aggravating me. Now, I'll throw away something if it's new and it's just freaking stupid. I really have to go to work. I don't have time for this bullshit. I have a lot of things going through my mind and sometimes one should just not say what one is thinking. But I'm thinking of two other videos that I've seen recently that I was like, okay. Anyway, evidently I'm the only one that feels this way about these videos because comments underneath were not at all not even in the same ballpark as what I was thinking. So I guess I'll just keep my opinion to myself. I really am in my own category, I think. Because these two videos just blew my mind. Just crazy bullshit. If I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say it, right? So stop hinting around it. All right, I will. There's that ugly Tesla that looks like a bar of soap. I must be grumpy this morning. I had plenty of sleep. I don't know what's wrong with me. I better tamp it down though because I'm getting ready to get up there at work where there's someone who's, whose whole day consists of trying to get a reaction out of me. So I gotta tamp it down, tamp it down. She's not gonna get a reaction out of me.
So my new espresso maker is called a DeLonghi. I think DeLonghi. But we'll look that up and see if I'm pronouncing it right. So I don't sound like a uncultured hayseed. Yeah, I like it because it gets the the froth really hot. It's it's a, it was a very great purchase. I'm so excited about it. I'm still gonna be at work by nine, even after all that jacking around, man. Picking up other people's stuff. There's always so much complication in doing other people's bidding, right? So I got plenty of Demi Wispies for my upcoming weekend. I have a, a quince party, I think. And a, so that means over the top hair and makeup. Say what you will, I know of what I speak. And the other one is wedding and she wants a loose, tenderly back and a lot of, a lot of volume in the back, updo and bronze smoky eye cookie cutter cookie cutter look cookie cutter wedding look right fortunately i will not have to get up at that ash crack of dawn for either one of those that getting up at 3 30 or 4 to be on location at 5 45 is for the for the foolish if i would save my money i wouldn't have to accept jobs like that if i set save my money Make money while the, make hay while the, what? Anyway, you know what I mean. And then save it for a rainy day. The jobs are, I still have a big boom of jobs coming up in October. They hit, they hit really hot and heavy then. I'm busy every weekend doing three or four a weekend. Alright, I finally made it to my location. Here's one more look at my makeup. I'm right under some green trees, that's why I have a green tinge. <laughs>